I need to make a save for him. For his he just tonight, got insight boy. into the reality of the world. Oh, oh right. for a, not for a twisted awakening, but it definitely is gonna hurt his head. Oh, but he's not gonna oh, jack me. Because of so. time unfreezing, and suddenly there's progress. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god. So yeah, he's just Merrick, leading um, out Yes, yeah, nope. yeah, that's exactly what happens. He begins, like, having a nosebleed, and you guys can see his eyes get bloodshot, and then Abigail, like, pulls off his mask. Not out of, like, like, fucking Scooby-Doo. Let's see who it is. No, she genuinely pulls it down, because yeah, to make sure he's okay. she, she, yeah, she fucking went through it, too, right? So, yeah, he begins, like, having a nosebleed. He's, like, he falls to the ground. You can tell that something is affecting him. He begins coughing up a little bit of blood, too. Oh, shit. It's a bit more of a visceral reaction than to hit Abigail. Like, like, don't worry, she had emotional, emotional damage. But this one's a bit more physical. As yeah, well probably because he represses everything, and then he has a physical. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. That. I'm happy you picked up on it. Take an inspiration. Hey, oh. Yeah, I think Oriana would point out, just like that's what happens when you shove everything Varric. down. Holy crap! Varric's gonna Varric. <laughs> he spits out some blood, and then. Takes him a lot of stealing breaths, and you guys could hear him muttering something under his breath. Um, Perception to hear? What's your guys' passives? I already know for Sajar is like 11 or something. If you have 15 or above, you guys can probably hear. He's not trying to keep it. 12 now! Ooh, la, la. <laughs> oh, he almost doesn't hear. Oh, almost hears it. Me, but uh, you guys all succeed. Know. Yeah, it's, all, it's, it's only a 15. He's not rolling to keep it quiet or, or, or anything like that. It's an audit auditory based thing. He's muttering prayers or mantras. Or, you know, along those lines. It's rather interesting. Oh, he ain't, he ain't doing good at all. He is, I will say, if you're trained in religion, you would recognize these quotes, these lines, these mantra, mantras, mantras, how the fuck you pronounce it, as uh, in tribute to uh, Lovisa the Vaunted. That's a good one. Lisa Levanted. Who is that again? Uh, uh I think Goddess of Victory? No, that's a That's a little Karem, baby. Victory and defeat. Right below oh, it though. Right. You're pretty close. Uh let's see, cause what's his face is uh Octavio. <laughs> Whatever his name uh, is is Octavio. uh Exalted Lord Octavian. Octavia, thank you. Uh is uh it's, it's adjacent to Exalted Lord Octavian, I guess. He's he's society. She's I don't know. She is the goddess of order, of law, of tradition, law. of duty. She's quite. She's basically the sort of an inverse of Zorgir Fenazar, in a way. So, that's where the priorities lie. Your favorite show is Law and Order, SVU. Dum dum. <sighs> uh, you you lose your inspiration. No. Uh... <laughs> hey, he said he said SVU instead of just regular ass Law and Order. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll, okay, that fine. evens it out. F fine, fine. <laughs> Better call Alec. Fucking, he's apparently a good legal defense in your inspiration cases, I guess. <laughs> um, you can keep your inspiration. Keep your inspiration then. But uh, yeah, he's not. He's not having a good time. That being said, it is well and clear past our normal end time. And I think it'll this. be. This is a good time to end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless you guys want to keep going like deranged people, it's already an hour and a half past <laughs> approaching towards two, and I know Kirsty is probably exhausted. Yeah, yeah so it's like quarter to four. I'm kind of diffing. I'm fine. <laughs> Ending here. Very fine. Yeah, we probably should. Okay, then before you guys begin hopping off, first off, thank you for playing. Next week, you guys probably are going to have your chat with Chaplain Bellamy. And, probably do um, nice. Uh, well... Chaplain Bellamy, <laughs> Chaplain Bellamy will tell you guys, uh, you guys will get some, a lead, you want to call it that, or really instructions and stuff like that, and you guys will be going to an inn, and Chaplain Bellamy's instructions will be like, you'll know me when you see me, okay? Don't like that. Mm. We will, in fact, not know them when we see them. Oh, Won't this you? is a familiar inn. I actually asked Owen, he actually didn't have it anymore. I actually had Ooh. to dig it on myself. Oh, hey, there's Amber. Huh? Up in the upper right corner. <laughs> no, that's Shepard Bill. <laughs> and there's a bunch of people. What is she doing here? What? 
That's fucking walking me up. No cares. It's as if it's as if we'll know when we see her. Just like Alex. Uh, well, oh yeah, it's looking crazy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so, okay, so we couldn't miss that one. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. If you missed it, I would genuinely doubt your guys' is. I don't know mental capability. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like of all the people in this inn, only one of them is recognizable. <laughs> Yeah, I don't uh, know why a fucking heat seeking missile saw Amber in the corner. Just like, oh, she's I, over there. I think it's oh, the wait, red exactly. border. It makes it red. It, 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 yeah. probably is, it probably is a red border. Yeah. No, you know uh, what? It is? Then I saw the black watch border in there somewhere. Black watch border. Yeah. Uh, what what it was was um in the Thursday campaign where I saw that originally. That's the upper right corner where my uh, secondary character was sitting. So I instinctively oh. just went over there to see if his token was over there. Uh, why, the why, why the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't even. No, uh, I feel, well, here's a fun slash. Well, it's not very fun. It's a sad thing. Oh, lost a lot of all the data for the Thursday game when he moved computers. He said like he lost like oh, over shit. half of like all the files and everything. So I don't even know if he has your token for uh, anymore. I have it saved it's somewhere. It's not super. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of um, peeps in the in the end. And yeah, you guys can go talk with Chaplin Bill. I mean, next session, mm -hmm. smile. Yeah, you can traumatize yeah, right. my it's child good. again. What, you don't want to hear Amber's you. voice again? Yes, but not in this situation. Oh my goodness. Oh well, whatever. That's complain, complain. You never like the gift. I know, the gift. I'm never happy, Crush. Never happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys can talk with uh, Chaplain, Chaplain Amber me. And, um... <laughs> oh, me. That'll be, that'll be fun to RP, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Very bold of Chaplain Bellamy to, to take the form of someone I have to physically fight the Urshi pistol with. <laughs> I can tell you that uh, you, if you guys start fighting here, you guys probably are winning. So, <laughs> wait, yeah, what? It was like Seekers and Slayer sitting directly behind her. Oh no, 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 no! Like, this place is stacked with people. You guys have seen the Black Forest before. Those people, the next table, are Black Forest members. Oh. Mm -hmm. You guys, yeah, you guys have a hard time. So it's yeah, it's, and also like Chapter Bellamy is basically like in, like low key like twenty or above level. So uh, yeah, you guys have fun yeah. of, of that. They said we might end up winning. I was like, wait, what? No, no, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, look forward to that next session. I don't know if it'll happen the same day. It might be early. I don't know. I need, I need to figure out a timeline for good old Chapter Bellamy. But uh, yeah. Um. So, as you guys might have interpreted from the name of the temple, the Temple of the Aspirant, if you guys want to get your Aspirant features, there it is. <laughs> right there. That's really cool. Marshall Neal said you guys would have to get stronger. There it is. That's the way to get stronger. <laughs> so, whenever you guys want to get those custom features, and let it be known, you're the one pitching me custom features. I'm not making them for you. And that's going to be a whole design process. Uh... Ahead of time, be prepared to lose gracefully. So on and so forth. Um, Let's do it. Yeah, whenever <laughs> you guys are ready. I, I assume it's like a feat per person, right? A feature per person, not necessarily a feat. Uh, like, like, like the copycats, your um, arcane gun and all that stuff. Like those are sort of pursuant reverie features, which are pursuant onto the aspiring stuff. Okay. So it'll be along those lines, like custom features. Right, right, right. Again, I need to figure it out for... I, need, I still need to figure out the Pursuant Reverie stuff for all the Delta Core shit like that. Blair <laughs> needs one, too, now, by the way. She, she's included in that lot. <laughs> um, so... I'm uh, sorry to answer the Oh, and... Oh! Let me... I'm gonna do this now, just because I don't think I'll remember to do it next time. I'm gonna roll for Blair. I'm gonna roll the crafting for Blair. Okay. She, she gets, gets a D8 from harder. Silas and uh, Don't Let It All Be In Vain. Can I give her another D8 because I saved the one? I still you have did. it. You did. You did. Okay, so that's plus 2d8, plus 1d4, plus a spark of knowledge from Tolus, which is another d6. Jesus Christmas. Plus 11 uh, expertise. Okay, so that's pretty good. A 49 is pretty good. I like that. I like hmm. that. I like that. Inspiration. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I'll take mine. She rolled. No, no, no. We don't... No, 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 no. Radiant wheel. Let's go. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Oh, yes. Couldn't get much better. Yeah. Almost an F20. Got an. Eight, you got a... 45, fuck yeah, baby, Blair is... She has her father's skill, what can I say? <laughs> He'd be proud. There's only like a handful of rolls that can make that better. He would be yeah. proud, and she would be proud. She is proud, not she would be proud, uh, she is proud. I mean, actually, to be fair, her, her father was like a, a blacksmith, right? Commoner, I assume? Well, Former that's an interesting 
Bingo! He is a former adventurer. He oh. knew he knew Anushka's mentor, in fact. That's how she recognized the name Nesty. I was gonna yeah, uh, okay. Uh, uh, I've been, yeah, I've been trying to like figure out how to bring well. up. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to like so, figure out how to bring it up, but like I've not been alone with her to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so you know. Okay, so a forty five uh, on a smithing roll probably wouldn't have uh uh knocked the bridges off. I mean, it definitely is something he'd be proud of. Hell yeah. Yeah, she, yeah. she's only like it's 12 fucking... points off of best possible roll. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, right, do we... But that... so. I was just going to say, do you predict that we might be able to get a short rest in before we talk to Bellamy? I don't fucking know. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, what, well, probably, I guess. Blair finishes up her shit. We sit down for 15 minutes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you have to go to the mess hall and get some grub. Yeah. Grub. Yeah. Snack uh, I guess I should probably start working on Varric's custom class. <laughs> Damn, I just finished working on uh, Kasai's oh. and uh, all theirs. And uh, another one. I think uh, I'm finishing out Delvitz. It's not done yet, but it's like almost there. I just had to finish out subclass stuff. Um... Yeah, he's gonna have a sweet crystal, not not crystal backpack, but a backpack that has a fucking battery on in it. Hell yeah! He's gonna, he's gonna be able to hot shot stuff, baby. Vulcan. Um, so it's that. So we're gonna Varric. Need to update uh, level up all the MC like, sheets. Yeah, where where <laughs> oh, where yeah. in the world is Carmen Owen? <laughs> That's right. I have to. My bad. It'll probably, it'll probably be Carmen Magnus. My bad. Carmen Magnus. That might, that works a lot better. Or Owen San Diego? That's a little bit more Yeah, that's that's a little bit ritzy if you catch my joke. A bit not not so rizzy. So not not, not 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 Owen San Diego. What to call Owen Sans the ego? No no no. <laughs> Let's see. What would you go to today's session? What should what to get do? Oh shit! We what? Temple of the Aspirants. No, we save that for when we actually get there. I think what we aspired. To, what we aspire to be is way too many words. Huh? Dreams and aspirations. I think we use that. That's not bad. Word, right? Dr Dreams and aspirations is actually not bad. I'm pretty sure it's been used, though, hasn't it? Yeah, hasn't it? Dreams, Dreams and expectations. expectations. Has been yeah, there is. Yeah. Aspirations. Aspirations. Aspirations, not expectations. Aspirations. Oh, oh right. Okay, okay. Dreams of different. We have so many dreams. Oh, oh, that's yeah. fucking crazy, huh? That's wild. I wonder why. <laughs> Can't imagine why. Oh, look at the last session, Better Sweet Dreams. Fuck, I didn't even notice that one. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? It's fucking wild. Back in here, it's Lycos Trial. Yeah, we'll out say Dreams and Aspirations for when, maybe when you guys actually get your response stuff. I think. No, this is... Shit. This is interesting. I think... You're gonna see a little bit of a reversion in Sajar. Uh, as long as <laughs> going forward, as long as you're not playing an asshole. <laughs> no, not at all. He's gonna become monkey. He's gonna revert to. Well, he's he's, he's he has like dragon in him, so he probably revert to like rays or something. Salamander. Lizard. lizard. <laughs> yeah, lizard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean like. Eagle lizard brain. <laughs> how, how do you mean? Um, I think he, his behavior might change a little bit, like the way he was when he first met Rodane, for example. Um. Him meeting everybody in, in River Company has has guided how I roleplayed him more and more towards that role of empathy, uh, providing guidance where he can, being supportive. I think he's going to revert a little bit away from that and become more of the, not ruthless, that's the wrong word, but efficient pragmatist that he was when he first met Rodane. It was about goal, method. Apply profit, because that's how you perform your duty. And that, to his mind, that's that's what you do. That's gonna be very interesting to see. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, the wee froggy. It's gonna feel. He's gonna have to do something about that anger. The wee froggy. Mm. <laughs> it's gonna feel very cathartic to see uh, the jar become his old self again as well. Mm. Bloody how I can't. Yeah. Well, I mean, like this <laughs> more more recent old self, not the older self that you are now becoming. His true self. Yeah. 
I think I already have next week's title. Pre-type it here. Oh, the wee froggy's fine. Yeah, the wee froggy. Well, that's the, the, the fucking so thing that from the twins that uh, was trying to hop up on the wall during like this trial. Sucked. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it, it is. So bad. It's small. I can't compare these. I thought it was a frog. Okay. It is a frog. I mean, it is a, I mean, it kind it of is. a giant frog. Oh, technically. Toad. But that's the thing that was like plaguing oh. you. You hated it. If oh, I remember fuck, correctly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, friends, I hate most of the monsters, like Crash Rolls is. But, like, Let's put the lace down here, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, um. What is him? The groundskeeper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it a stomach? The groundskeeper from the twins' snacks? arc. Or Anushka's arc, rather. Um, he had a mouth. On his tum tum, so yeah. uh, Garth drew him some oh, chips. Oh right, the kaphonic <laughs> uh, groundskeeper. <laughs> he wanted some oh, barbecue right. chips. So kiss kiss. Oh, kiss kiss for his tum tum. This toad is so cute. I hope no horses eat it. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Oh, there's another no. one. No. Get them out of there. Much much. Oh, they're gonna do it to him. No. You're thinking Poor about froggy. the clip where the horse eats the chicken. The oh, what? The what? I saw, I saw I saw I eat a check, yeah. 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 Ah, yeah. sure. Oh, that does sound familiar, actually. Oh. Yeah, just kind of like crunch. sniffs around, picks a shirt up, <laughs> shump. Just mm, Jesus calcium. Christ. Horses are surprisingly vicious. Immensely. All right, I have next week's title set up. If I forecast it correctly, might need a tweak it, but we'll see. What is it? Oh, la la. No. <laughs> I, mean, I can tell you, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it'll change too much, but but uh, uh, no, the third, the third and last letter. <laughs> Why the third and last? D and E. Typical. <laughs> Breaking and entering. D and E. <laughs> D is the third letter of all of it, and E is the last letter of all of it. Oh, I that, know, but D and E. That's a, a D and D sequel. Dungeons oh and... right, D and E. You're no, right. No, 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 no. I hate that joke. I'm dying <laughs> internally, but thanks for it. I guess he's in the same um, condition as Varric. Ah, uh, good old Varric. Yeah, old he's a uh, uh, man. You got that. Probably the worst introduction to what the truth is. By the way, oh, yeah, let me just stop reality. Mm -hmm. Not even time. <laughs> Not even time. It's reality. <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> um, like a lot of fun sad. times, Kirsty. When you're listening reality. right now, this time it's it happened. I'm kidding. Fun realities. I'm fine. No God. time. Whoa, 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 whoa. No He's dead serious. You are not you. You are such a job. You, you. Yeah, and now you guys have a little bit of insight into where to find rays, which is going to be a fucking hard ass task, by the way, because not exactly teleportation circles in a continent that's not developed. Uh -huh. But you might find avenues yet. Doesn't really work there, still. No, it does. Maybe. It does now. It does. Oh, cool. Now that there's not yeah, a fucking sleeping god underneath it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so that... Interesting. Uh, that... That... It's so... It, teleportation works a lot. But it's just a point of, like, you gotta get set up. Um... <gasps> da -da 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 -da. Yeah, you guys might be able to find ways over there. I mean, talk to the colonial <laughs> companies. There's a, there's a couple of uh, royally sponsored ones. Um, I mean, the elves have theirs, uh, their own as well. You guys can talk to the dragons slash giants. Maybe they, right, because they obviously they, they live in a bit more of a grand them. scale than you guys. <laughs> um, so might be able to do that. <laughs> They've never seen Dragon's Grave Keep then. <laughs> and uh, I yeah, the list I, of all the well, other shit we have to take care of. Yeah, that's all there. Totes. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so next week, yeah, you guys will be able to talk with Farrar, you guys will talk with Chap and Bellamy, you guys get your shit solved. Who, it's, uh, who knows what's happening with Delvid, it's kooky and crazy. You guys can be a Lord of um, so on and so forth. Uh, maybe you see if Lord Treyhorn has returned yet. Um, uh, I should have Possibly ask, send uh, the what, Free Marchers a message. What Delvid do this session? What's up? What did Delvid do this session? Um, you guys talk to a secret Captain Rickard, and the devil it's like, hey, this is what happened in the Lunar Judgment, oh, my bad, Lunar Elevator, and Rickard was like, that's <laughs> not supposed to happen. <laughs> By all accounts, every and all Voidic energy and essence in Delvet should have been adapted, altered, like a stem cell, to, like, normal flush and normal everything. So either the gods are really, really judgmental, who better than Skullkeeper Thruster, fair enough, but even though Skullkeeper Thruster was present, 
religiously in Delvet Ceremony, so maybe not. Or it's not so clean, after all. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what Rickard's going to, uh, to took Delvet to, you know, give him, like, a a deep examination. Okay. Yeah, so Delvet will probably be gone, but, uh, you know, because you guys informed Captain Rickard of America's instilled curfew, apparently. Uh, <laughs> he should be back in time for dinner, maybe a little bit later. But, you know. Good. Mm. All right. Uh, I will send my thoughts and prayers to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think that would, uh, if Rickard has to make any rolls, I'd probably give him advantage. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, he's going somewhere with this. I don't know where, but he's going somewhere. Can he get plus a d4? Yeah, um, that's, that's like guidance. No, Rickard's not gonna roll on anything because he has like such amounts of like assistance and tools at his disposal that he's. I, I'm, he's just. It's just gonna take a little, like more, more than a little, but it's gonna take time, and he'll be able to maybe not get the solution, but at the very least, understand what is actually happening here. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's. You guys will find out. Okay. So. <laughs> No, it won't be anything that knocks Delva out of commission. It'll just be sort of this, like, underlying... That symptom can make sound like a sickness, but it's just like a... S- alternate nature, I guess? I don't know how to describe it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You, you, yeah. It, it, it'll be fine. Smile. It'll be fine. It's all good. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, Vaso already set up an audience with Lord Traher, and whenever he returns, America is monitoring Hafrin... And Isadora, so that's good. Deaton's all are out doing whatever they're doing. Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But too, wouldn't it be a fucking mind fuck if that actually was a real Amber? I know, right? <laughs> well, here's the thing, right? Like, the way Amber and her team went to Cutthroat's Cube was by teleportation, so. They could just teleport back. In theory. I told you she'd meet you in the middle ground. Is Literally. Huh? She's like, yeah, so I work for the Black Force now. Oh my mm. god. Ooh, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't that be crazy? Ideas. There'd be quite a bit of hatred there. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine <laughs> that happening. Just like I can't imagine Tolis dodging scrutiny for like, how many sessions has it been? 65? 65 sessions so far. You know what's really funny to me? That's wild. Mm. It wouldn't be 65. It'd be like 63? Was it the first session we met, met them? Yeah, the I first think it session. Was. Yeah, was it the first session we had access to them. I mean, it was the yeah. first question you guys could ask questions. How Tolis did it? I think you guys did have access to them in the very first session. I think it was went pretty fast. You know what's kind of interesting to me? You guys, when somebody says Ooh. something like decisive or definitive, like what Sajar said earlier when he said, "Don't let me ask again without these guys coming with." Nobody bothered to inside check to see how serious is he about this. When you do that to all the other players all the time, it's well, it's because you, Sajar. Fred, are too trustworthy, <laughs> and Sajar yeah, yeah. feels too straightforward. Mm. Like I, I guess now that you mention it, it never crossed my mind that uh, Sajar might lie outwardly, lie to himself maybe, but not like to everyone else. He wouldn't lie to us. Yeah, no one, no one. Right. Yeah, everyone knows the greatest betrayals are super obvious and like foreseen ahead of time. Everyone knows that. Yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah, I don't even know, know what I would be inciting there. My biggest enemy is my. His emotional state. Mm. Yeah. yeah, his emotional state is everything's fucked. I want to do something. And I can't do anything, and people keep telling me that I can't do shit. Like, there's more depth to it than just that. Yeah, I was I gonna mean... say, where's the nuance? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go to my bed because it's getting quite late now. Alright. Yeah, thank, thank you for staying up. Yeah. Next week, later, I'm assuming. Yes, I don't know if I'm gonna be any earlier because I've got the car, but like, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put out the late start time, anyways, and you, you turn up when you turn up as well. Yeah, yeah, cool. And then we'll know when, when I'll turn up normally. Yeah, then we'll have like a precedent to, to like, yeah, 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 well, yeah, last yeah. time. I know, yeah, because I was coming home earlier like, the other day, and I was like, cool, I'll see what time I get home, and I can work it out, and I, I got ready, and it was the exact same time as I normally turn up, and I was like, cool, alright, <laughs> how does that work? But, whatever. Shortcuts? I don't know. I don't know, me just pissing about, I think. 
Anyway. Maybe. See you later. Later, later. Uh, well. Good night. Wait. I move the mic arm. There you go. All right.